no, 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 James, please. No, James. No, no, James, you listen. I don't care how much it costs to do the job. All I want is a job well done. Now, uh, by the way, what about the, the containers? Have they arrived at the Lagos port yet? Goodness gracious. James, what are you talking about? Those three containers are worth over 200 million naira. And you're telling me you can't track them? Look, if those things are not found, I am finished. Do you understand me, James? I am finished. Please, please do. Oh, oh my goodness. Three containers? 200 million naira? Must be a joke. Okay, sir. Okay. What did you guys say? He said he's on his way. He should be here. How are you feeling now? Much better. Don't worry, sir. Yes, ma'am. She's fine, okay? Nothing to worry about. It's just a minor crisis. She'll be fine soon. Thank God, Dua. So, me will go. Have you informed the husband yet? Yes, sir. Very good. Um, sir, can I see her? Not now. When the nurses are done with her, you can see her, okay? Samuel, you can go home while I wait for that call. No, I want to see Madame. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything before my mother comes back. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Please, I was informed that my wife was brought here earlier today. Mm -hmm. Her name is. Hi, 
Oh, Mercy, you're here. Yes, sir. What happened? She, she just locked well, it. It's okay. I'll handle it. Which way to her world, please? Okay, sir. Room 011. Go straight. Room by your left. 011 to my right. Yes, by your left. Okay, um, Mercy. You don't have to be here. It's okay. I'll handle things. Why don't you just um, go home? That way you um, probably prepare something for her to eat when she gets she gets home. All right? Thank you. Fine before I left home. What, what happened? You had a drink? Alcohol. What? Darling, what is wrong with you? Are you trying to kill yourself? Why would you do that? Frank, I need you to do me a favor. I promise you. You never mentioned it. Frank, I'm, I'm sorry, guy. It's part of my my secret. The story of my past is locked in that secret. Please, Frank. She's the only one I have in this world. Oh, you're talking like you're going to die tomorrow. Did the doctor say something to you? What did he say to you? Huh? Oh, I hope he did not. Let me see the doctor, I'll be back. Doctor, what did you say to my wife? Uh, what do you mean? What did you say to my wife to make her cry like a child? Talking like someone who's about to die tomorrow. Please sit. Don't ask me to sit down. I think um, your wife understands what she suffered from that you do. She has been to the United States of America for her cancer treatment. And people over there understand this thing more than we do. See, I don't want to go into details uh, because she will not like her discussing as it relates to her sickness. I think you should understand better. This I know that my life. wife is suffering from lungs and broke your cancer. And if there's any PDD at all, doctor, I request that as the husband that I'm duly informed first. That's my point. All right? Look, I'll have you know that I'm a man who's in love with his wife and I'm not in the position right now to lose that woman. Do you understand me? Sorry, Mr. Frank. There was nothing of sort. And if there's any, it will not make her cry like a child. 
Your wife has received better treatment and counsel from abroad because of her condition. If there's not anything making her cry like a child, certainly not related to her illness. I think it's something you can handle. And that is why I demanded for your presence. Um, one more thing, Mr. Frank. Your wife is suffering from partial stroke. And she will not be able to do something she normally does for herself. And that's why she needs all the attention from you and love. And you will take it as a point of duty to make sure she stays away from certain food and things she normally do or eat. Because our blood pressure rises up, it will lead to this kind of crisis. And that is not good for our condition now. How you feel? Please. I, I, I know it's not easy, babe. This kind of marriage. But I, I need you to understand. She's my daughter, and both of you are the only people I have in this world. Besides, her name was mentioned in, in my will. Before the marriage. Please. Please, Frank. I need you to find her. Make her your daughter. She needs you as much as you need her. Please, Frank. That we will be one family. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop talking. It's... I don't have any kind of information. What do I work with? How do I find her? I left her with a couple. Other couple. With her. Uh, I leave at um, 68B Sawyer Street, Ajibuli. Uh, the man's name is, uh, is Donald. Tina, yes, I remember. Donald and Tina, please. Find her. It's all right. It's okay, don't walk yourself up. I will find her for you, okay? I'll work with the little information you've given to me. Okay? Sabio! Oga! Come here. Where's Mercy? I'll be back here. Mercy! Who among you two rushed my wife to the hospital in a public taxi without notifying me? Okay. We. Oui. What the force? Excuse me? Do I look like I'm joking to you? Huh? I asked you a straight question, young man, and I want answers right now. Who? Among you two put my wife in a public cab without thinking to call me first. 
Oga. Please speak up. Oga, I use that just to save Madame's life, sir. Shut up. Save her life. What do you know about saving lives? Are you Jesus Christ? The both of you better thank your stars and nothing happened to my wife. If else I would have killed the both of you with my bare hands. You shut up! Get out. Will you leave this place? You, it has come to my notice very clearly that you are insensitive to your environment and have absolutely no idea what goes on here. Alright, so go back to your little room, pack your things, and get out of my house. You are fired. But, but, okay. If I come back here, you see standing there. Easy, darling. Mm. Easy. Easy. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen her. Did you send her somewhere? Oh, that one. I um, I fired her. I couldn't stand her mystics and excesses, so I, I let her go. Excesses? Oh, I don't understand. Look, Mercy has lived with us long enough. She's part of this family and she understands the workings around here. Great. Yeah, she doesn't take her job seriously. So don't worry yourself, all right? I already placed an advert um, through an agent, Madame B, for that position. So in a few days, we'll have somebody new here. So how soon will the person be here? Pretty soon. Or oh, would you rather do her job? Like the cooking and all that? Did you say cooking? <laughs> you know, when you talk like that, now you forget that I'm a chef. I've been taking extra classes in cooking, so... I just might shock you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what would you do? Ah, uh, speaking of that one, you know, I've been thinking that, um, how about I uh, make you excess? Mm, Bald yam, really soft. Like you like it. It's like you read my mind. I don't read your mind, baby. I know your mind, because you and I, you're always here, so I know your thoughts, I know what you want at all times. You and your lovely speeches. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, let's not forget, I will be going to Ajegula tomorrow to look for her. Oh. And, um, I will. And I don't intend coming back here early, unless of course I find her. Or, you know, get some kind of information that can lead me to her. Okay? Oh, God. But not to worry, come on, it's okay. I already spoke to the gate man, um, Samuel, to be at your beck and call just in case you want something. All right, darling. Sure, why not? Let me just change into something. Lighter, hit the kitchen, then I'll be back. Don't sleep off on me now. I won't. Hmm? See you soon. Good day. Um, Who are you looking for? 
I'm looking for the owner of this house. Who are you? I am the help from Madame B's restaurant. Oh, now you? I right, listen. Madame, I have help from Madame B. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. Yes, man. I hope you will like us and like our home too. Yes, man. Yes, man. <coughs> Are you okay? Water. Sorry. Where can I get water? water. I'm so sorry, man. Water, please. So sorry. Thank I'm so, I hope you're okay now, ma. Are there clothes for me to wash? I could clean the kitchen. I could clean this place. Not yet. Okay. Samuel, please take her to our room to rest, eh? We can come back later. Yeah. Thank you very much, ma. Please take care of it. I'll, I'll come down. I'll come very soon. Girl from Mama B, right? Yes, sir. Relax. In a certain language. No, sir. All right, so I'd advise that you pay close attention to your chores and duties in this house. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And for starters, I would need you to, um, there's a room immediately after mine. I need you to clean that room tomorrow. Um, good air freshness, just make it very conducive because we just might be having an important guest. Do that first thing tomorrow. You yes. do that, report to me for further instructions. Yes, What is this? So you don't think it is time you begin to take your job seriously? Next time it takes you almost forever to open that gate, you will be fired. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. What attitude you to work? Get her things off out of the car. Welcome home. Frank. 
Is everything okay? So this is it. You tricked me and brought me to this place. You want me to go in there to meet a woman that abandoned me for 21 good years? Just calm down. You think this is easy? Look, I know how hard this is. Okay? But you're already here. You know what they say, no place like home, right? So please, trust me. Trust me, please. Would you take that bag and go inside? Jai! Come on down. She's here, she's here, she's here. Who is here? Your daughter. Yeah. Yeah, she's here. Look, I just brought her back now. But the place says she knew I'm coming inside. Ha! Huh? Why now? Listen to me, Grace. I beg you to please calm down, right? I know this is a moment you have waited for all your life. And trust me, it is going to prolong her days. Here on earth, if only she can just set her eyes on you, I beg you. Right. Please. You have to trust me. Please. Thank you. You'll be fine. Why? Is uh is I will take the later. Please help me get down. Let me no, help no, me no, go no, up to no, receive. No, please just rest. Let her come and meet you instead. Please. Found your daughter. What happened? You, you would even blame me. You, you, you would understand that it could happen to anybody. It's true. I abandoned you. It, it wasn't intentional. I had nobody. Absolutely nobody. I was just an orphan. I only had an uncle who kept me because, because I was working for them. He met his wife. They molested me. all kinds of things to me. God, I just... I had no option than, than to hit the streets. You know, in, in the streets, I, I had freedom. I, I, I was my own master. I could do anything I wanted and there was no one to stop me, no one to disturb me. And, and that was what I wanted. Oh, what I felt I wanted. Thinking. I even did her drugs. Before I knew it, I was pregnant. My boyfriend. 
Fred. I thought he loved me. He abandoned me. All my friends, all my friends deserted me. I was alone. I, I, I had no money. I had no money to, to eat. I had no money to take care of myself. And yet, I was a baby. I didn't know what to do. I just did not know what to do. And then, then there was this thing in me that said to me, Kill this child! Don't let her go through what you're going through. That's why I decided. I decided to kill you. I, I got my shiny silver knife. And that fateful day. When I lifted up my knife to stab you. Oh my God. And they looked back at me with so much innocence and I just could not do it! But there was something inside me, something very strong that said, do it! But that voice, that voice was there. He kept saying, do it, do it, do it! So, I turned your face down and I lifted my knife once again. When I was about to stab you, you screamed! Oh my god, that sound! That sound! I can still hear it! Oh, and I couldn't do it. I just could not. <laughs> the nine months that I carried you, oh my god. The pain, the starvation, the anger, the disappointment, the everything. Oh God, I couldn't do it. I just could not do it. And I started thinking, what should I do? What do I do? And I remembered. I remember the couple that lived down the street. They had no child of their own. So, so I wrapped you up nicely. I bundled you up. And then I wrote your name. And I wrote the story of my life. I put it inside that tiny bundle. And then I carried you. I looked into your face one more time. And then I laid you there by the doorstep. I just laid you down and, and I walked away and that, that's what happened. That's what happened. So you actually gave me that name? I named you after myself. Grace. Nick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> 
know how you feel. And take that joy away from me. Thank you. Like me to put the box inside. No, don't worry, just leave it there. Oh, okay. Welcome. Um, you seem to be a very nice person. Thanks for helping me. Oh, it's nothing. Thank you. You're a nice person too. What's your name? Ada. Oh. Ada. Yes. You don't seem like a house help to me. <laughs> I'm sure you've been here in circumstantial. Come. Tell me all about it. <sighs> no, there, there was nothing circumstantial about it. I used to work in a restaurant where your father met me and he asked me to come and work here as a help. You mean Frank hired you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Alright, why is this taking so much time? Um, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You're here, sir. Nice to have you here. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Oh, my goodness. The barrister himself. You're welcome. Thank you. Madam, thank you for coming. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Good to have you here. Um, well, let me officially welcome you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, boy, you all look good, I must say. <laughs> okay. On behalf of... Um, my wife and daughter, who would be here in a few minutes. So please, ladies and gentlemen, just to make yourselves very comfortable. As um, in a few minutes, would have um, something to drink and a little something to nibble on. All right. <laughs> the next time you see me, shall be with my beautiful wife.
with you people. You're all welcome. I thank you all for making it to this wonderful location. Uh, an occasion that has been made possible by Almighty God and my husband here, who has been so supportive. They all made it possible for me. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity to correct a wrong I made 21 years ago when I gave up my daughter, Grace Neka, to total strangers to bring her up. Unfortunately, but died in a car crash. <sighs> May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. <laughs> Amen. Enough of the sad stories. Um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the saying that um, to err is human and to forgive is divine. I want to thank my daughter, Grace Neka, for finding it in her heart to forgive me. And today, I am proud to you introduce to you all my wonderful daughter beautiful elegant sophisticated intelligent daughter Grace Mega to you all Congratulations. Oh, well, to that end, I'll um, ask that we make a toast. All right? To long life, good health, prosperity, and to one indivisible. It's a family. Cheers. 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 <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry, no. um, I'll just. <laughs> Barista, every time you come here, you refuse to take something. I'm always good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, if you notice me very closely, I'm not always. Okay. Whoa, so you're welcome, my daughter. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, you're, you're such a lucky girl to have a mother like this. Please just forget everything that has happened in time pass, right? I believe God Almighty has a reason why things happened the way it did. Hmm? Thank God. This is a great reunion, and we thank God for it. Um, Grace, Paris is here because um, I'm trying to start uh, proceeding and changing my board of directors with her corporate affairs in Abuja. And I'm also trying to change ownership of my assets. Okay, so I am hoping that uh, once all that is done, you and Frank would help. Uh, Go meet him and then sign all the necessary papers. <gasps> Mom! Yes. Susan! So sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. There's no point waiting, baby. There's no point waiting. 
Now, Barrister, I ask you once again, are you sure you don't want something to drink or eat? <laughs> I don't know why you keep insisting. I'm just good. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, well, what are, are there any documents you need, like papers mm. or any materials you would need for me mm. to start off this procedure? No, for sure. Right. When uh, we're about to commence a processing, I'll let you know oh, okay. all the necessary documents we need. All right. Yeah, Grace. Tell me about your past life. I would love to hear something about your foster parents. Grace? Yes, me. What happened? What did you say to her? She's crying so bitterly. Oh, God. What did you say to her? I didn't say anything to her. Barrister was just asking her about her foster parent. I guess she still misses them. Um, you know what, Barrister? I would, um, you know, really appreciate it if we let her settle in. You know, let her adapt yeah. to her new home for now before we begin to have that kind of talk with her. You need to see her. She's, she's devastated. She's weeping. Oh, God. Ah! Oh! Ah! oh, what's the meaning of all this now? Ooh. Come here, buddy. Ada! Ada! Yes, ma'am. Come, oh, take her away and clean her up. What happened? What are you I doing? said, take her away and clean her up. They're asking her what happened. Are you deaf? Mabi! <coughs> Mabi! Ah uh ah! -uh. Oh God, Frank! This one, where you they run like this? What thing happen? Ah, uh, not. Uh, now make something no happen. I carry me come. How how you they? Eh, uh, what thing be the thing? Beg that girl where you carry come give us for house. Where they mm. where they work for us? Eh. Uh, what thing be her name again? Grace. Eh, uh, Grace. No vex, so. I beg. I'm not vex. You get some personal information about that girl. Where she goes to school. Where she grew up. Her papa, her mama. I just oh, want. Oh God, Frank! Now what for you? How you think say me I go collect person where me I don't know where I'm from come from. Oh, you see that Grace eh? Now born to away for Suru Nere. The man and woman we carry him. Not be them born amo, but she they call them Papa and Mama. What if you wake up one day and suddenly realize that the people you call dad and mom? are not truly your parents. Why did you say that? That's unimaginable. Why would you even think about such? Jane, it's not an imagination. It's what's happening to your friend. Jesus. Wait, wait. Are you trying to tell me that you're supposed parents and not actually your biological parents? Jeez. Um. Please, if they call you, can you help me tell them that I'm not here, please? I'm sorry, Jane, they already know. What? What am I supposed to do? Mom, Mom got suspicious and curious yesterday and called them to know why you left the house without your consent. I really have to leave here now. It's not safe for me You anymore. don't have to worry. Trust me, they're not coming for you now because I overheard her telling them that they should allow you to stay with us for a while. See, trust. <laughs> Trust is not a word that I believe in so much anymore. I trusted my parents and see where it landed me. Please. Oh, Jane, see, like listen. Me. They are not coming for you. Trust me.
Excuse me, ma. Now waiting. I be your change no complete. Um, my change is complete. It's just um, I wanted to find out if you can employ me here. Let me help you. I noticed that you don't have any help or assistance. So I don't know if you can employ me. You make me I employ you. Yes. Sir. I need somebody too, too, but not be a person like you. Uh -uh. How I go and play you? I'm not going to pay you now. If, madam, it's not about the money. I just need something to distract me for the time being, you know, while I sort myself out. I could even help you to develop your business. I will bring better ideas on how to run this restaurant. I just need something to do for the time being. So, idea to improve my business. Yes. And make we go now. Hello. Ah, Oga Frank. <laughs> now you. Uh, I go send the girl tomorrow morning. Now very good girl. Oh. Ah, you and your wife now go enjoy her well, well. The girl, she's not see where that girl no sabi. She did surprise me. Ah, now because are you? Oh, I not fit to give her out like this to anybody. I beg, make you take care of the girl for me. Oh. Take care. Oh. Uh, okay, first thing tomorrow morning when I go see him. Okay, bye bye, Oga Frank. That man that was telling you about, he's the one that just called. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Frank. Oh, okay. Uh, see, they nice, eh? Husband and wife. And they get money well, wow. well. If you help them well, then go we'll help you. Thank you very much. So you will leave tomorrow you. early morning. No problem, man. Thank I go you. miss you. <laughs> I miss you. Oh. Ha! Oh, okay, Frank, what's your happen? That's my name, sir. Grace. You are aware that's your madam's name. And our daughter's name. So you see, who are you? Are you? Henceforth. Henceforth! Your name in this house will be Adam. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. What you happen, you're telling me right now is true. Uh, 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 I'll Frank, now correct. Uh, oh, God, Frank! Oh, God, Frank! You, you hear? Frank, what's the problem? She is the problem. Ada is the problem. Ada, who is Ada? Oh, so you don't even bother to tell her your real name, huh? Are you Ada? Oh, um, yes, but. But what do you what do you have to say? Will you shut up? What what? No tell me, what do you have to say for yourself? Huh? You know what, darling? I am really, really sorry. This is all my fault. Alright? I should have asked questions, I should have made proper investigations before hiring this thief. So my fault. I'm really sorry. But you know, at some point my my, my brain began to twitch. I, I became really, really uncomfortable. I, Oh God, I obeyed my God-given instinct and I started asking questions, you know, background check, getting to know who this, who this criminal is. And as I speak with you right now, I am shocked to my bone marrows, the kind of revelations that I'll have to deal with. This girl is a spy. For some androgy guy in this vicinity, she is nothing but a bloody thief and an imposter. That's what she is. Not true, mommy, please. It's not Will you true. shut that little mouth of yours and stop calling her mom? Sweetheart, I'm sorry, I have to take this idiot out of this place. Get up! Get up! No, 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 it's okay! Hold on. I think it's better I call my barrister friend. 
let him be the one to take her away. I mean, this is a serious matter. No, 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 no. So that, look, it's not necessary, all right? He needs to come here and, uh, um, and arrest so that, her. No, this no, is a serious... No, look, look, no, 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 Look, darling, you have my ear. I can handle the scar. Okay, you don't have to pull that man off his busy schedule. For what? What for? Frank, you don't understand. These people understand such situations better than we do. Let me call him, please. Hold on. He's already on the line. Hello? Yeah, barrister, I need you to come over to my house immediately. Please come along with two policemen. There's a criminal you need to arrest. Yes, it's a matter of urgency. Please. I can't believe I've been harboring a criminal. An imposter living in my house? No, maybe I don't know what he's talking about. I did not do it. Please, I don't know what he's talking about. You shut up! <laughs> Can I just kick this thing out of this house? No, no, baby, just wait. No, no, let her go. What are... no, no, don't worry. The barrister will do it. She will be dealt with. She must be dealt with. Leave me alone. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God, Barrister. Thank God you're here on time. Barrister, I need you to arrest that criminal over there. Um, Me? No. Ha. No, 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 Barrister. That, that, that's, this is the thief. This is the imposter. This no, is the spy. No. no. She is the thief, the imposter, and the spy. Arrest her. Darling, what are you talking about? Well, I am not in any way surprised at all what is happening here today, Frank. I've always asked my friend and my clients here, what an interest a handsome young man will have in her, if not her money. I'm going to have you speak to me that way, Barrister. Thank God we just learned that house today. You know what? Frank, you are just a lazy criminal. So lazy that you couldn't even consider the modern day advanced technology as one of your loopholes in those cheap criminal plans. Just a die, just a die of a number in my smartphone. He searches the internet and get me in a seal of horse Davis. Oh, that Frank. Yeah. Did you really say your wife is sick? Did you actually say your wife is sick? Yeah. She is sick. As a matter of fact, she was even rushed to the hospital. You're actually telling me that you're marrying her. I thought you guys were just doing the sugar mommy thingy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How you deceive yourself? Honestly, look, I'm no longer a child. If you want to do something, just do it. All right. I met her, I liked her, and then we got married three years ago. Went to court, and then, as we speak, she's my legally married wife. Bad boy. Ah! I know you. I know you wouldn't venture into anything that is not profitable. Hmm. I heard that woman is a very rich woman. Hmm. Maybe that's why you even married her. <laughs> I know you. Bad boy. Bob, I'll punch you. I'm not joking. Look, this is my private affair. It's my fault. My bad. Bad boy. <laughs> Hello, married man. No, man. Uh-huh. Look at that girl. Okay, she's, she's a waitress. No, I don't. Is she? Is she's new. No. She's got to be new because I suppose not. A lot of people have their eyes on that girl. If you really need her, just write your number on a piece of paper. When you go pay for the drinks, you tip it in. But if she's interested, she'll probably give you a call. Ha! Minister for me without fear. But... Make sure you tip her. It comes in handy. Oh, okay, 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 ok
One second, please. Um, how much is my bill? One minute, sir. How much is my bill? 2,500, sir. Ah, sorry, how much again? 2,500. 2,500. There you go, darling. You, you look like a million dollar beer. No, sir, I said 25. Oh, no, it's okay, you can keep the change. Dollar beer. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. My name is Frank, what's your name? Nancy. You are stunning. Thanks. So what's beautiful Nancy doing in the bar? Well, seven people and trying to meet my needs. It's better than prostituting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's just that I think you don't, um, you know, fit in here. Yeah? Maybe you should think of um, getting yourself a better offer. Mm. I'm just saying. Like being an actress. You see, Nancy is a theater art graduate and an aspiring actress who came to Lagos to pursue her acting career. But I don't have the link yet, so I'm doing this in the meantime. An actress? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Quite interesting, I must say. Um, okay. Great. So you said you had an offer for me. What is it about? <laughs> um, here. Now that's a hundred thousand naira. I believe that I should be able to take care of your salary for two months. Maybe I'll have Easter Hotel tomorrow afternoon, 12 noon. Please be prompt. Room 007. So we can talk. Okay. Thank you. if you want. Oh, not to worry, I'll be fine. Sure. My wife is a multi-millionaire. Has assets worth more than 500 million naira. That's if I am not in any way mistaken, she has cancer. And her health has deteriorated and everybody is waiting for her to die. Myself inclusive. So that when that happens, I will inherit all her properties. Given the fact that as things stand, that I'm the only beneficiary. Take everything she's ever worked for. Since I'm obviously the only beneficiary. Until one day she woke up and looked me in the face and told me that she has a daughter somewhere. That she left to some strangers 22 years ago. And that she would like me to find her. <laughs> That's where you're coming, darling. But what exactly do you want me to do? You are the daughter. I found you. Henceforth, you are Grace Necker. You live at 68B, Somaya Street. Jingola and this family that she abandoned you with 22 years ago. 
Mr. and Mrs. Francis. Once again, you cease to be nice. Now, as an actress, I need not remind you how to react when you see a woman who abandoned you and left you with some strangers for 22 years now, do I? I don't think so. Nancy, this is one time you'll have to prove yourself an actress and win yourself an Oscar. Now, every other information that you might need to make this real, you would have to dig up. But if you do this right, if you get this right, you will be 10 million naira richer. Think about this. Let the games go. Are you ready? Sure. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Give me tears. Oh, come on. It's not an easy. You have to give me some time. <laughs> Are you sure you can do this? <laughs> I can do it. You sure? What happened? I was talking to you. Can you imagine? That lawyer asked me to tell him about my foster parents and my experiences. What? What are you saying? What, what did you say? What did you say to him? I just pretended to be upset and I started crying and I, I just walked out. Is that all? Fran! Fran! What? You need to help me. You really don't know what to do. What? Ah! Boy! Oh! You know what? Do you remember what I, I, I told you about crying, right? About crying. Stay in that act. Just continue crying. It's quite unfortunate. You are in for it, and I promise you, I'm going to dance the music. I'm going to dance.
Mommy. Good morning. I'm sorry to wake you up. It's okay, good morning, George. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh. Do you need help? Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Um, mommy, I hope um, it's okay for me to call you, mommy. You funny little child. Of course, it's okay to call me, mommy. <laughs> I am a mother. <laughs> um, it's time for you to have your bath. Mm -hmm. I've made your breakfast and I don't want it to get cold. Really? Yes. Okay. You need to give me some time. Oh. By the way, you've not even told me your name yet. Grace and Mega. Grace and Mega. Yes. What a coincidence. That is also my daughter's name. Really? Yeah, isn't she's about your age? Wow. <laughs> I really like to meet her. She'll be home someday. Her father has got to bring her back. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. <laughs> Mommy, you have to get ready soon. Grace? Yes, Mom. Why are you doing household job? I mean, what about your parents? I, I I really don't know my real parents. The people I grew up with that I thought were my parents, I realized they're not my parents. I was on the verge of looking for them when this job came up. Really? And now these strangers or whatever they are to you, what are your names and where do they stay? Justin and Donald Francis. We live so near. So your names are Chris Neka Francis. How did you know? Yeah. Oh, I was just guessing. I mean, you said your names are Grace and Neck, and obviously you know, Whatever parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Francis, <laughs> if you just put one and two together, you know. Okay, well, um, you need to have your bath now. Okay, I've heard you. Just give me five minutes to say my prayers, okay? All right? Okay, I'll come back in five minutes. Frank, do I look like a fool to you? I cannot believe you're a devil in disguise. You wanted to kill a mother and her daughter and take over my inheritance? God. I can't believe this. And you know, I, I really, I really cared about you. I would have given you everything, Frank. You're so stupid. Frank, you are the spy, the thief, and the imposter, just like you said. You didn't even bother to check, ask for my daughter's complexion before you went out and hired this fair complexioned criminal. Get them Stay out up. of here! Please. Get them out! Please. Please. Move. Please. Move him out. Uh, one, minute. One, one minute, one minute, one minute, Frank. Please. Before you leave, Move. please take that. That stupid picture of yours, that picture frame that you left there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Out. Get out. And everything. Get out. Get out. And, and the rest of your clothes, I will send to you in jail or wherever you end up in. <laughs> Grace. Grace. Come on, Grace. So you are actually my mother. Please come to your mom. <laughs> Baby, she is your mother. Your biological mother. Mommy! <laughs> How did you find me? 
What? So you, you knew this place and you never told me about it? I'm so sorry. And you allowed your husband to take advantage of me? <laughs> it's okay, please. No, no, baby, listen. I, I took a number from your phone. And I called her and invited her to come. Oh, you heard it. She, she told me everything that happened. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's all right. <laughs> Everyone has the secret You've got yours and I've got mine One time or another we always have something to hide Could be from the past, a blast from the past Long in the present or something recent As always we try to hide it from people at the appointed time Everything that is hidden Is bound to come out If you don't reveal it yourself Someone is bound to find out At one point or another The truth will come out All the secrets will come out yeah. It will come out yeah, it will come Nothing is hidden under the sun When the time comes, it will come out yeah. No matter how hard you try to hide it When the time comes, it will come out yeah. Nothing is hidden, yeah. hidden yeah. Nothing is hidden yeah. under the sun yeah. Nothing is hidden yeah. Nothing is hidden under the sun So what is the use trying to hide it When you know it's gonna come out What is the point keeping all that secret When you know that someone is bound to find out Well I guess if you're doing the right thing Then there's no need to keep all that secret But when there are lies the seed, betrayal and evil deeds, yeah Then you might want to hide it You want to keep all the secret Someday it will all come out Come out, it will all come out Somehow it will all come out Yeah Secrets, yeah, we will come out. Nothing is hidden under the sun. When the time comes, it will come out. No matter how hard you try to hide it, when the time comes, it will come out. Nothing is hidden, hidden. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Nothing is hidden, hidden, hidden. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Nothing is hidden, nothing under the sun. Under the sun, the time comes. Yeah. It will come out hard to try to hide it by the time comes. It will come out. Yeah. Nothing is hidden. Yeah. Nothing is hidden yeah. under the sun. Nothing is hidden. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nothing is hidden under the sun.